I'm curious about that in regards to, I mean, right now you are starring in Watchmen, which is a, uh, a subversive take on the superhero genre. But uh, over the last few weeks, there's been, um, hesitate to use the word controversy. I would just mm. say something that people are talking about. And uh, yesterday, Martin Scorsese penned an op-ed in the New York Times about how he felt about the overabundance of superhero movies in the multiplex and in basically in, in mainstream cinema and how it's pushing out um, what he refers to as more risky art house films. I mean, I tend to agree. I do lots of superhero interviews, and I think those movies do have their place in a way, but I do tend to agree with as someone who grew up on art film and you know, loves that, loves those types of quote unquote risky movies. I do pine for the days where those were explored more by, by the mainstream. Where, where do you fall in regards to that and as to whether or not superhero movies can be cinema? I think of course they can be cinema. I love Martin Scorsese's movies. I'll, I've seen every one of them. I will see every one of them. I think he is, uh, an extraordinary man, I, 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 and an extraordinary filmmaker, one of the best uh, who's ever breathed. Uh, he defined a genre. Um, I wouldn't say he created it, but he redefined it, uh, what, what, what the gangster movie is. Uh, and when he has gone outside of that genre, the movies he's made have been extraordinary. Uh, does he make cinema? In the highest sense, yes, absolutely. The op-ed, which I read last night, is uh, uh, gorgeously written. It's Isn't a, it wonderfully yeah. written. Yeah, it's a it's it's a great uh, and persuasive uh, piece of rhetoric. Uh, but I think that um, a movie like Logan mm -hmm. uh, is cinema, and I think that there are images that appear in the Marvel movies that are absolutely cinematic. Where I do agree with him is that because there's so much money involved, I think that, yes, there's a, um, a kind of... Um, there's, a, there's a kind of artist-by-committee aspect to superhero movies that that can threaten the sort of authorship that Martin Scorsese or Francis Ford Coppola or um, the Coen brothers or Paul Thomas Anderson, many of these artists, or even I on my tiny little yeah, movies sure. that few see, uh, that that have. And 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 I think once that gets threatened, um, that's that's probably not good in certain respects for the risks that you want an artist to be able to take in the film medium. But so that to me was his most persuasive, trenchant point. I, with that, I agree. And I think that's, that's an issue. I, I still think, though, that you see images in the most cynical superhero movie that uh, are gorgeously artistic. Mm -hmm. They occur, and therefore, since those images are cinema, or cin are cinematic, I'm not sure that you can so easily dismiss Marvel movies or superhero movies as uh, prima facie, just not cinema. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's fair and I'm not sure really how useful it is.